craft room crash and I'm outside DIYer Helen Teets' house. Now, she says she loves to dabble in making everything, but the holidays are her favorite time to create. So let's go crash her craft room and find out what Helen is making today. Hi, Jane. Hey, Come Helen. On in. Come on in, Jane. Oh my no way. This is the craft room? This is it. This is literally the biggest craft room I've ever crashed. My name is Helen Teeth, and I'm with Creations with Blair. This used to be my formal living room, <laughs> and no one ever used it. I pretty much make something every day. I mean, a lot of times I'll like tackle a project just to see if I can do it. I mean, you have every single thing that you need in here. And if you see it, you'll use it, because you just never know what you're going to need. Because you get inspired by the yeah. pieces that you see, right? So sometimes you're just working on something, and all of a sudden you're like, oh, maybe I can add this, or I can add this. Both my parents were very hands-on. Back in the day, there wasn't all this technology for kids, so my mom taught me how to do everything. Sewing, crocheting, everything. This is a crafter's dream room right here, Helen. Uh, yes, I... I can't wait to spend the day with you. What are we making? I used to call myself this, but I'm gonna give it to you. You are Helen, the High Priestess of Handmade. Oh, I'm honored. Okay, High Priestess of Handmade, what are we making? We are going to make Christmas ornaments. Fabulous. They're glass ornaments, and I like to fill them with glitter or just different little things inside, and just usually personalize them for whoever's gonna get them. Okay. I made you a little sticker that says, DIY by Jane, that's me. And then this will be the ornament you'll always remember me by. Okay, so take your cup, and you're gonna take the liquid, it's floor polish, and you're just gonna pour it in there, and then we're gonna swish it around, because you wanna coat the whole inside of the ornament. Without having it fall out. Correct. And then pour it out. So then you're gonna take your glitter, mm -hmm. and you know, you could make a funnel or something, but I just pour it in. My motto, a day without glitter is a day wasted. <laughs> swish it around until it's all coated. Swish it around until it's all coated. Woo -hoo -hoo. And then your extra is going to come out. It came out. Yeah, so you can make so many ornaments with that bottle of glitter. Do you ever get glitter everywhere? Everywhere. <laughs> I mean, you walk around, you have glitter on your face, your hair, everywhere. I don't care. No. These are the little words that I had done. I had made you one also. Yeah, mine says DIY by Jane. Okay, it's been cut the vinyl and then I put transfer tape on and you're gonna just peel it off. Now on mine, I'm gonna put some fur cause you know, baby, it's cold outside. She needs a little bit of fur still. Um, I mean, I'm happy like this. I know, but you know what? Why not embellish some more? Absolutely. Why would we not? Okay, so. I have a pile of fur since you want to copy. Oh. <laughs> so you decide what you want to yeah, put on, on it. That. Wow, so this is all scraps from like your dad? Mm -hmm. My dad was a furrier. A lot of the sewing and creating with like the furs and stuff, you know, I have a lot of furs and boxes that I'm gonna plan on doing something with it. So now you have a little stole you're gonna put on your- oh, I love that. Oh, it's fabulous. And then we're just gonna, we're gonna use the glue gun uh -huh. and we're gonna put it in. m, -m material girl. Her little mink stole. <laughs> Careful of the fingers. Yeah. It's hot. You have any fingerprints left? None. What about... Um, and then you can add bling to the you know top. I love my bling. Absolutely. Hey, can I put this around here so it's like yes. she is wearing a necklace? Okay, ribbon me up, sister. These are the finishing touches. Yes. So is that okay? That overhead knot is okay with you? Yep. So now I'm making you a bow that okay. we're going to glue on the front. Oh, you glue it on the front. There's that glue gun again. So here we go. Oh. <laughs> well, maybe not. So we're done. Look at that. Love the back of yours. Look at that, it's fabulous. This is such a great idea, Helen. Thank you so much for having me here. Thank you for coming. Thank you for teaching us how to make an ornament. Absolutely. So much fun. Thanks so much to Helen. Now we all know how to make a festive ornament for our Christmas tree. And that is what Helen is doing in her craft room. What are you doing in your craft room? I'll see you next time. <laughs> These are so cute, I love this. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, don't forget, happiness is handmade because the first Christmas tree was decorated in 1510. And you no, know, I don't remember that year, but we're still decorating Christmas trees. I know you don't remember 1510. No. Not so much. Do you remember 1988? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>